There is no real estate crisis. It's just one big accounting mistake. This is the dramatic claim by Raghu Jufre in his economic series called Raghunomics. Here's our correspondent Bob Wilson joining us from Wall Street. What can you tell us about this Raghunomics housing claim, Bob? Hi, Lisa. Yes, you are correct. Raghu Jufre says we can solve this whole real estate crisis in a matter of days if we simply look at the double paydown of real estate assets by banks and insurance companies. Regu calls this leverage debt reduction. What does leverage debt reduction mean? We've all heard of leverage financing. Basically, leverage financing means using the same assets or capital to finance multiple deals. Regunomics claims that leveraged financing works in reverse as well. A write down on leverage debt will also write off the same asset multiple times or write off its mirror counterparts. The multiplied impact of leverage financing works both ways, whether it's used for financing or when paying down its debts. This sounds complicated. Is there an easier way to explain this? Regunomics points to the 2007 market boom. There were $65 trillion of insurance policies called Credit Default Swaps, or CDS, at that time. This credit default swap insurance was issued against $12 trillion in real estate holdings. So you're saying that there were five CDS insurance policies for every home in America? That is exactly right, Lisa. Having $65 trillion in credit default swaps was basically like having five CDS insurance policies for every home in America. That is a lot of insurance. It is indeed. Here's the good news. Paying off just 10% of these CDS will have paid off 50% of every home in the country. Wow, so paying off just 10% of the CDS will have paid off 50% of every home in the USA? Yes, Lisa, that's what Regunomics is claiming. It's quite an extraordinary discovery. I thought CDS was more an insurance policy taken against market bets by investors. Most CDS are just Las Vegas bets, are they not? Most CDS are a lot like Las Vegas bets, Lisa, but some of these were also taken out by the banks when they made loans to homeowners. Ragu's point is that the CDS market was so massive that if banks equaled just 10% of these market write-downs, 50% of every mortgage in America will have been written off. This sounds startling. Would there be an easier way of explaining this to the public? Regunomics provides the example of getting a rental car from the airport. When you're signing in, they give you the option to take out an auto insurance policy for $12 a day. Yes, I remember getting that rental car insurance. Many of us get that insurance too. Now, you know you automatically get an insurance policy through your credit card when you buy it using your American Express card. Yes, I did know that, but some of my friends did not. So that gives us two insurance policies on the same car. Ah, I see where you're going with this. Yep. So the rental car company also has an insurance policy on that car you're renting. I see. So that makes three insurance policies on the car. And say you had a commercial driver's license. You'd now have a fourth insurance policy covering this same car. Oh, I see. So Raghu Jufre is saying that we had multiple insurance policies on every home mortgage in America. Exactly. Now Wall Street keeps account on all the liability that each company has recorded from your American Express card to the car rental company to your $12 premium policy, but no one noticed that these policies are all against the same car you are renting. So when just one of these companies pays on your car, the other four companies have their liability automatically paid off. This is what Ragunomics refers to as leverage debt reduction. So Ragu Jufre is saying that we have five insurance policies for every home mortgage in America. And so if just one of these are written down, the others no longer need to. It's a little more involved than that, but basically, yes. America has so many backup systems that we actually paid off this real estate crisis years ago. My, that's incredible. 
Bob, you have been referring to this term write downs or write offs on assets. What would a write down be exactly? What's a write down? Well, people may remember the collapse of Lehman Brothers. Lehman fell from $800 billion in assets to just $20 billion in a matter of days. That's a write down. Did you know that America had over a thousand banks go bankrupt since 07? Banks and governments from around the world wrote down trillions more. So Raghu Jufre is saying that all these loss and collapsing investment portfolios actually paid off America's home mortgages? Exactly. It would seem this one discovery would revolutionize the entire financial industry. Well, it gets better. Ragunomics has found six areas where we had this double write down. For example, the PMI insurance that homeowners buy to cover the first 20% of their mortgage was never paid out to the bank on foreclosures. So trillions in insurance liability has been wiped out once banks wrote off those homes. Is there anyone else that has looked into this? That is what Ragu's campaign is all about. He's been trying to contact the president with this. He's gone to D.C. several times and approached politicians. He's personally met with media, academia, and others, asking them if they'd be willing to simply take a second look at this. He thinks that maybe as few as just 5,000 to 20,000 people asking for this review would be enough to get our president or members of Congress or the media to finally step up and look into this. He says that simply looking would solve a great deal of our economic problems by showing how much of the crisis has already been written off. He's asking everyone to join him in this call to the president and other leaders. So please, share this report with your friends in Congress. Everyone, in fact.